What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink with you. Quickly! A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! ¿Qué no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods, you know what I'm saying. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey, I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met, me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. And this is Patricia. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <laughs> Trevor! Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. I love to garden. We will have desert roses blooming here. But all the garden needs is some love and affection. Just like my Trevor. You're what I have always longed for. A strong woman. I love you, my angel. You're an incredible woman. You're the best thing on this earth, my dear woman. I love you. I worship the ground you walk on. 
Hello, my beautiful lady. You're proof of the divine. Patricia Madrazo. Oh, I am in love. He's a good man. And he is your friend. You should appreciate him for who he is. Well, believe me, I appreciate him for exactly who he is. As my mother say, boys will be boys. Yeah, and insane psychopaths will be insane psychopaths. This is hard for everyone. If Trevor has to make that decision, I'm sure it will be because that was the only option. Yeah, I'll be sure to carve that one on your tombstone. I sincerely hope that we don't have to kill you. I feel so free, now that I'm away from that tiny monster. I've never seen eyes like yours before. Oh. <laughs> You're making me blush. You blinked. No, you blinked. Why couldn't I have met you 20 years ago? Mmm, time ain't no thing, Mrs. M. Your mothers were too easy on you. You boys are so messy. Naughty boys. Badly weaned, I'd say. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you want to sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, sane, 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 okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, all right? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't, don't fuck it up. Don't stay out too late. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her? Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife! Ah, she's 57! And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. Hey. You keep the case. Fuck me, okay? Hey. All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady, and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every 
inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, with made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Oh, fucking A. Yes. What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. Now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. Well, what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. <laughs> Take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. For, for, some, for some reason, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. <laughs> Treat you! I know. I know. <clears throat> no. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Otherwise, the other ear, of course. Uh, the way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for the statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. A time together. It's very important. I have to go. Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor, oh, I miss you, all you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, uh, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Patricia! Trevor! Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. You see, uh, Martin, is he treating you well? If you ever... You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Patricia, I really miss you. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> 